Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, divers. Hello, divers. What is up? It's so good to see you. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart, for saying I look beautiful. I thank you so much for that. Y'all are so incredible. Thank you for just clicking on. I promise I'm not going to be long at all, but I did want to share a word, a very brief word of encouragement. Let's dive, millionaire. I receive it. Receive. Yes, I receive it. And I, as I said that, it seems like I heard Dr. Bill Winston's voice as he would say, receive. Yes. And you know, he is the uh, preacher, the minister of faith and prosperity and increase for the kingdom of God. So yes, 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 I receive it. Listen, I want to share this really quickly. Strength is coming. So you should just wait. I'm going to just be transparent for a moment. Okay. I have been in a whirlwind season lately here. One incredible thing right after the other time being stretched in this direction, stretched in that direction, having to do what is needed to be done. And as the Nike slogan says, just do it. Hey, if you want it done and it has to be done, you have to put your hands to the plow. And a lot of times we put weary, tired, you know, hands to the plow. We do it by faith. We press beyond the flesh that can be sleepy, tired, drained, feeling um, lethargic and all of those things. But the spirit, that's why the Bible says the, the flesh is weak. You know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak more accurately. Isn't that wonderful? Hi there, Angelica. It is so good to see you. My thought, a very brief thought for you all tonight is strength is coming. I want to say that strength is coming, so just wait. As I have been feeling so, you know, a little bit, you know, like a rubber band uh, might pop at any given time, I have continued to look high. I have continued to say to myself and oftentimes out loud, but my help comes from you. Yes, Angelica. One of the things that I have recently been saying you all is that I am powered by the Holy Spirit. So I love what you're saying there, Angelica. Partner with Holy Spirit and it'll bring kingdom results. Bam, bam, bam. Each and every time. Now that's what's up. As I was riding out today, trying to uh, enjoy the Sunday afternoon after an amazing word, a great time of worship and fellowship with my family. I found myself wanting to go, not wanting to go. Wanting to go out and get some good old ice cream. Wanting to stay back and kick my feet up on the couch, stay stretched out on the bed in jammies, no hair done, no makeup on, no nothing, just chill, right? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Listen. Everything in me said, listen, girl, you need to get up from here. Get up, enjoy life, relax, relate, release, because Monday's coming. Na, 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 na. Listen, so many statistics show that people on a Sunday night, oftentimes, even on a Saturday, begin to dread the thought of Monday morning is coming. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody willing to dive deep for just a few minutes? People sometimes dread the thought of Monday morning, the sound of that alarm clock going off, the thought of a to-do list that has all of these items on them that is it that is going to be requiring their attention all week long. But you know what? I want to encourage somebody tonight and say that strength is coming. I want you to know that energy is coming because we are powered by the Holy Spirit when we're doing the right things, doing those good and needful things. We don't have to do it in and of. We can't do it in and of our own strength, but we are truly powered by the one that is greater than us. And we know the scripture says that um, uh, he that is within us is, is greater. It's greater. He's just greater. He's just greater. My God, he's just greater. As I was riding today, Walter Hawkins' old song came on. I felt a leading rather to put it on. And the song was entitled, The Just 
shall live by faith. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what the news reports are saying, and they're saying a whole lot of negative things, dreadful things, death, destruction, mayhem, war, rumors of war, famine, uh, inflation, all of those things. But the just, we're going to live by our faith. That's what we know to do. And that's what we're going to do. And when we live by our faith, what happens is that in the midst of, of us going, taking one step and putting it in front of the next step, we find the energy coming on from just out of nowhere, it seems like. The more I got out this afternoon, the more I walked, the more I stepped, I'm telling you, the better I felt. I felt my energy coming on. I felt my strength coming on. I felt joy rising up in my soul. I felt the smile broadening on my face. Hey, you guys, come on in here. Welcome to dive in for a few minutes. I want to say to somebody that your strength is coming. You, you just, And I heard another song. Oh, it's my favorite song right about now. Elevation Worship. Oh, my God. Wait on the Lord. You should just wait. I want to say to somebody tonight, don't give up. Don't trip and flip out thinking about, hey, they're in the shell. Don't trip and flip out thinking about Monday morning is coming in a few hours. Oh, Lord, the clock is going to go off in a few. Oh, man, I wish there was another day between Sunday and Monday. <laughs> As if we could do that. Wave a magic, a magic wand and put us another day in there. But I want to say to somebody, that's right, Charmaine, you won't give up. Don't give up. And even though it feels sometimes, you all, like we're giving out. Hey, Lynette, y'all come on in here. It feels like we're giving out. Don't give up and you won't give out. My goodness, don't give up. Don't dread Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't dread nothing. I want you to get up every day with a resolve, with a determination that today is an amazing day because I'm still here because I'm up on my feet, because I've got my right mind, I'm putting on, as Patty LaBelle said, a new attitude. Go out tomorrow and be fierce and be fabulous. Go out tomorrow and be as fly as you can possibly be. I want you to seize the day when you wake up in the morning, and I want you to think about what kind of impact you can make everywhere you go. I want you to turn heads. I want you to make traffic stop. I want you to make the temperature rise when you step into a room. I want you, hey, Jackie B. Davis, girl, my girlfriend, I want you to pull yourself together and look like and walk like and act like and talk like and think like that you know that you're it. I want you to know that strength is coming on because baby tag, you are it. You are it. You're the one that God is looking for. You're the chosen one. I don't know what kind of miracle he might want to use you to perform on tomorrow. That's why, Latanya, you got to get your strength up. You got to hold on, just wait, because strength is coming. I want you all to know a few hours ago, I felt like I was too poop to pop. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Charmaine, tag, you're it. Latanya, I felt like I was too poop to pop, girl. Been doing some good things, great things, lots of changes. We're in a new season in the natural. We're officially in the summertime now. We're in new seasons in the spiritual realm. We're in new seasons and facets and phases in our everyday life experiences. Oh God, new cities, new jobs, new homes, new this, new that. My God, how many of you know that even when the good things are happening, when they're overtaking you like in Amos 9, 13 through 15, bless it, it can still tax you. It can still drain you, Paula. Building that new house ain't easy, baby. 
getting trained to, to, to max out that new position and let those people know that you have arrived. Ha, somebody better recognize it ain't easy. Ha, ha. Oh, God, having a new baby, having to stay up all night, do what you got to do, do what's necessary, bundle of joy in your arms, but it ain't easy. Even these relationships, you got to learn people. You got to figure out how to fit and flow. You got to socialize. How many of you know, I remember socializing, trying to get it together, to get something together. You can be having a whirlwind of a time. And then on a Sunday night, you can be like, "Woo, I'm tired. I had a good time. Oh, I enjoyed it so much, but I'm woe out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hey, divers, I want you to understand that strength is coming. Yes, Lynette, I love to say that. Fit and flow. Strength is coming. Energy is coming. Reserves are coming. Resources are coming. Supernatural help that you need is coming. Oh God, not only is it going to come together for you, but I see in the spirit realm, it's going to wrap around you and it is going to loop over. My God, because see, when you talk about needing strength, when you talk about needing energy, you can't get just enough. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody diving who, who can look out like this and see beyond that watermark, that high watermark. You don't need just enough strength. You need enough strength so that when you use up all that you do need, you've still got some left over. And it, what does Psalm 23 say? My cup runneth over. You need strength so that you can be a cup runneth over over. <laughs> I don't know about you all tonight, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Every time I realize that God has touched me again, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm excited. There's an OMG on my lips. Ooh, you gotta, you gotta uh, participate with the Holy Spirit so that you can make sure that you have what you need in the moments, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, the years, oh Lord, the quarters, the seasons, that you, that whatever you're in is there for you. It's available for you. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, Walter Hawkins saying today, the just shall live by their faith. So hold on and don't stop praying. Hold on. The Lord is not. Hold on. You can make it. Hold on. You can take it. You gotta, you gotta, you might have to change your seat. Y'all see me swirling, don't you? I feel so good and so comfortable because I've got this amazing new blue chair and blue is my navy blue, particularly it's my favorite color. You gotta, when, when, when it comes time to uh, maximizing your strength, getting your strength, ma maximizing it. You got to make sure that you're at, you're at the right table, in the right seat, using and expending energy where you're supposed to. See, some of the things that have gotten us worn out, we don't even suppose to be entertaining and engaging with that, with them, with it. We, we are not even supposed to be over there. You're really supposed to be on that side. Many years ago, I went to the Bahamas on a cruise. And at one of the ports that we got off on to tour, maybe it was Nassau, maybe it was Freeport, I don't recall. But there was a store parlor that was called Diamonds International, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody may have been there on your trip. I went up in that bad boy, looking pretty good. Felt like I was, you know, looking like I wanted to be looking over there in the Bahamas. And I went in just window shopping and all of that. I like to try on jewelry. Hey, Nina, what's up, girl? I just mentioned to my daughter about your new puppy whose name has changed to Cowboy. <laughs> Listen, in Diamonds International, I was just browsing around, looking around. 
And then at that time, I was uh, delirious over emeralds. That actually happens to be my birthstone. I was delirious about emeralds. I was all things emeralds. There was this humongous ring about the size of a quarter and it sat up a little bit, about a half an inch high. And I said, could I try that on and everything? She says, oh yes, sure, go right ahead. She took it out the case. She gave it to me to try on. I put it on my finger and I stood there and held it up. And I said, mm, mm, mm. I said, how much is it? And she looked at me and instead of answering me, she says, how much do you think it is? And I said, oh, all right now, that's an indicator right there. So I took a wild guess and I said, well, maybe five, 5,000. And then she said, mm -mm. and then I said, no, she said, mm -mm. I said, 10, you know, double or nothing, right? I said, 10. She says, mm-mm. She said, you want 5,000, you want 10,000, you need be other size store. Over here, we do not, we don't have anything under 65,000. <laughs> I slid that ring off my finger. I put it back in her care. And I think that ring was $60,000, uh, 65,000, what she said the minimum was. I was like, uh, I'm definitely on the wrong side of the store. Why am I sharing that? The only reason I'm sharing that is because we need to make practical applications, you all, about understanding what season we're in, where we belong. Don't waste your time over there where you where you don't fit and flow in this season right here because you're wasting energy, you're wasting steps, you're wasting breath. Go over there where you, y'all laughing at me, go over there where you can fit and flow better. You can hold on to your energy better. You understand what I'm saying? Some of the strength that we say we need, we would have if we didn't waste it. Mm. My goodness, my goodness. Doing a lot of good things, but only one or two of them are God things. Mm, 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 mm. Sharing the vision with folks who don't have the capacity to understand, let alone buy into your vision, a waste of time and energy. Mm, 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 mm. God, hey, is the master energy source. He's the creator of all life and everything in it. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Yes, Angelica, woo, that part, girl. Yes, absolutely. We've got to know how to get where we belong. We've got to understand not to waste our energy. Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your breath. Don't waste your gifts, your talents, your skills. Definitely don't waste your anointing. Don't even waste no prayer time. Mind your shot. I don't know who that one is for, but don't even waste prayer time. Don't waste precious energy, veins popping out, snot flying, praying about things that don't match up, don't equal out to the will of God. Don't waste your time praying about that. The same way we don't need to waste our time praying if we happen to see a child, a little toddler sitting on the side of a sidewalk by themselves all alone, do you need to stop and, and fall to your knees and pray? Do you need to go inside your prayer closet and pray before you make a decision, have wisdom and common sense that you need to at least go see about the baby? You need to at least pick up and call 911, DSS, somebody. Hey, you don't need to pray about that type of a situation and a scenario. You likewise don't need to spend waste precious time praying about things that simply don't match up with the perfect word and the perfect will of God as it pertains to you, your purpose, and your destiny. You need strength for God's purpose for your life. You need strength for God's perfect will for your life. And God knows, sisters and brothers, you need strength in order to make it to your destiny. 
My God, you're on the path to destiny. That's what purpose is all about. But destiny is still over there and it's still calling you by your whole entire name. Angelica Marie Bernanke, Jackie Denise Avent, Winoka Hinton Mitchell, Latanya Burston, Paula McDougal, and he eat the Holy Spirit even knows destiny, even knows your middle name and the middle initial, and even knows your childhood nickname, whatever it was, Pookie Bear, uh, Tootsie Roll, what hey, the Holy Spirit got your got, got your name, has got your number, has got your destiny. And he has sent me up here tonight to briefly share that you got this week. This is the assignment. This is the assignment, you divers. This is the assignment. This week, don't waste no time. Don't waste no energy. Don't waste no strength. Don't give away no jewels. Don't be found where you don't need to be. Don't be found engaging in that which is not uh, what, what, what you're supposed to be engaging in. This week right here is a pivotal week. I can't explain it all. I can only just let the Holy Spirit flow. But this week is a pivotal week. It is going, it is a pivotal week. And it is going to pivot some things in your life. When you stop wasting time, when you stop procrastinating, when you stop uh, misunderstanding his perfect will for you, the will, the what, the where, the when, the how, the why. When you stop tripping over all of that and you uh, get in the perfect will and, and you surrender and let him have his perfect way with you, it is going to pivot some things for you. Turning things around, for some, it'll be 180 degrees. Awesome, Lynette, awesome. For some, it's going to be a 360 degree turnaround. For some, it's going to be a suddenly, it might all happen tomorrow. Hesha, movement inspires movement. Momentum is an outplay of movement. When you decide, my God, that you're going to wait on the Lord. When you decide, I should just wait. Oh, when you decide. That you should just wait and make sure that you're on the right side of the store. If you set up like that over there at the minimum 65K, then baby, kudos, you go for it. But if you aren't quite set up for the 65K, you can want it all you want to, but wishing ain't going to make it so. You need to get the little church finger up just like this, turn to the right and start walking to where you can fit and flow in this season. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Strength is coming. You got to hold on to what you got by not wasting it. Using up res reserves. You cannot drive a vehicle on exhaust fumes but for a little bit of grace time. That would be the Holy Spirit getting your tail to the gas pump. <laughs> and you can mess around and say to yourself, well, I I'm looking, I see I'm on fumes, I'm on E. I know I need to get to the gas station, but I think I'm going to stop at the Dairy Queen right quick because I really want an ice cream. Go Stop if you want to. The fumes going to run out. The E is going to drop below E. Hey, the res it and God help you if your reserve tank is done. See, that's when you need that strength. But see, God doesn't want us to even get to the place where our whole and total reserve is on E, on exhaust fumes. That's right, Paul. God doesn't want us to get to that place. That's why we have to just wait sometimes. Go to the filling station. Get what you need. Yes, Nina. Yes. Thank you, my intentional savior. Sometimes we have to just wait. You should just wait. Oh, Lord, Jesus, we should just wait. Go to the filling station first. 
Don't wait until you know that you have uh, exhausted your reserve tank and then try to make it to the filling station. That's where that strength is. It's wrapped and tied up in wisdom. Wisdom. There's no need to be stranded by the side of the road when you don't have to be. There is strength for you all today. I'm about to click off. There is strength for you all right now. Even tonight, as you lie down, I decree and declare a sweet, refreshing rest for you all. A sweet, refreshing rest. Cares lifted off of you. Stressors, frustrations lifted off of you. Trepidation about tomorrow morning coming before you're quite ready for it, lift it off of you. You leap up out of that bed in the morning. You lift those hands up to heaven and you thank God, hallelujah, that it's another amazing day. And you decree and declare that blessings are overtaking you everywhere you go. That's how I want you to deal with your tomorrow. Strength is coming. So just wait. Strength is coming. So you should just wait. Wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength, Isaiah 40. Just wait. There's incredible goodness that is assigned to you. Just wait. Let your strength build back up. Let your energy get re-elevated, if that's a word. Get, get re-elevated. Let your energy get lifted up. Let the, let the balloon get filled back up. You should just wait. Don't try to do it in your own strength. Don't try to uh, uh, force it and make it fit when it doesn't fit. That 80s, 80s uh, jam said, if it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. Just because that's how you want it. Doesn't mean it will be so. Hey, ha, shabosa. I don't know who that's for, but glory to God, there's strength for you. I do know there's strength for you. God told me to get on here and tell somebody there is strength for you. You wake up tomorrow, you go into your day with an agenda, with a purpose, with an itinerary to let God lead you, guide you, speak through you flow through you, bless through you, love through you, give through you. Let God take the wheel. Let him take the wheel. Let him take the wheel and you be along for the ride. That's where your strength lies, okay? That's where your strength lies. That's where your strength lies. You can't fight this stuff in this world atmosphere, systems, all of that in your own strength. We got to get our reserves up. And that involves wisdom to wait, wait. Soldiers don't need to go out there on that battlefield already worn out because you, you've already got the odds stacked against you when you try to do it your way and your little bit of strength. But when you wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. You'll mount up with wings as eagles. Mm. My God. Oh, Lord. This is good. Woo, run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. This is not a fainting week for you. This is not a worn out week for you. Strength. 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 Energy, energy, energy. Receive it, receive it. Rest well tonight. Get up tomorrow with a smile on your face, with a lift in your heart. Pull it together, be looking fly, fly and fierce. Even if you got on sneakers and flip flops, there's a way to work that thing. You got to be looking the way you need to be looking now. <laughs> Even if you pull it back in a ponytail, that's all right. Let that glow do, do what it needs to do. Let that glow do it. 
put, you know, let, 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 let it do what it need to do. Be looking like a child of the king is what I'm trying to say. Don't be looking like you broke down, busted and disgusted now. You know, elevate all that from the inside first and then the outside. You don't have to, when I say dress up, pull it together, you don't have to dress up like that. I just mean be clean and neat and all of that, smelling good, fresh stuff. You know, just do what you need to do and put a smile on it. That's it. That's it. Hey, thank y'all so much for diving with me. This was impromptu. I shared a couple of weeks ago that I'll be doing some pop-ups and all of that. And I'm so glad to see you report to the diving board. Have an amazing, super abundant, blessed week. Don't let nothing get you down. Do you understand? When it does, if it does, when it does come across your plate, I want you to dig way deep down on the inside and stir that joy back up. Find you a song, find you a word, find you a buddy, find you a friend, find you a, a, a something to help you get the joy back. As quick as the enemy try to snatch it, I want you to snatch it right back even, to, even more. One of the preachers that I follow, she says, when she tells the enemy, you got to be quicker than that. Latoya O'Keel, you got to be quicker than that. Hey, don't let nothing get you down. You can do this thing. It's going to be an amazing week, so don't dread it. Run into it with excitement and expectations. Great expectations. If you have them, you'll draw them to you. That's all I came on to say. Strength is coming. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Lord. Thank you so much, Renee. Oh, you're thanking me for sharing. I'm thanking you for diving. And as a matter of fact, you guys share the broadcast for me before you click off. And that would help me to encourage even more people. Because I'm telling you, that statistic is real. A lot of heart attacks. Let me shine down, rebuke them. But a lot of heart attacks occur, according to statistics, on Monday mornings. People report that it feels like refrigerators are on their chest because of the trepidation and the stress and frustration and things like that. Thinking about going where they don't want to go. But in the name of Jesus, I thank God tonight that we can do something different. If you don't like where you're at, do something different. You don't have to feel the way you're feeling. If you don't like it, if it's not serving you well, if it's not helping you be your best self, if it's not the will of God, if it's not leading you on the purpose path to your ultimate destiny, then figure out another plan. Figure out another route. Take the exit door, baby. I said it just like that. I know it's door. Take the exit door, baby, if that's what you need to do. Because... We don't need to be checking out early. We're not going to check out early, my God, because we failed to make a wise decision, right? Right. All right. Renee, you say you came to the dive right on time and you needed this. That blesses me. I'm always hesitant. I'm a little nervous when I get ready to come dive and I'll be like, oh God, you know, what are you going to say, Lord? Because I don't really know totally. What are you going to say, Lord? How's it going to do? Who's going to show up? But I have to trust God. And with I, I see several people saying that they needed this. This is blessing them. Oh my God, this is so exciting. They're excited. All of that awesome, amazing Y'all keep it coming because this confirms to me that I am hearing God. Confirming I'm not trying to talk no stuff, manufacture anything on my own, but I hear from God. Yes, I wait on the Lord and that's when I open up my mouth. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Trusting God never fails. Yes, Lord. Trusting God never fails. We got to wait until we know it's God. Wait until we get that green light go. Wait until the strength comes on. Thought about it earlier today, but the truth is I wasn't feeling it. My flesh wasn't feeling it. Tiredness and lethargic and so forth. I had to wait on the strength of God to re-energize me and blow that balloon back up because you deserve, you all deserve the absolute best every time you report to the diving board. So I bless God for you. Thank you so much. Oh, Jackie B. Davis, and she needed this. Amen, sis. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Go out and conquer your tomorrow. Conquer tomorrow. Conquer tomorrow. Shake the, make the enemy shake in his boots because you're up again and you are ready. Yes, yes, yes. Look at yourself in that mirror in the morning when you're putting, you know, grooming, brushing your teeth and all of that. And I want you to talk to yourself. Tell yourself what kind of day it's going to be. Tell yourself what good is going to come your way. Tell yourself what you're not going to do and tell yourself what you're going to do. Tell yourself how you're going to respond. My God. And then just strive to let the Holy Ghost lead you to be able to actualize what you say. The strength of the Lord is upon you tonight. The refreshing and the, the, the kinetic energy of the Holy Ghost be released upon each and every one of you right now so that you get a refreshing, a refreshing on this night that will make you wake up tomorrow smelling roses, Smile on your face, ready to go and ready to max tomorrow out and then let Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday fall right behind it like dominoes, okay? God bless you. Hey there, Annette Scott. And if you go back and, and check out the replay, you can still share the broadcast and encourage somebody else. We gotta encourage one another on this journey. I love you so much. This is your girl, Jackie Avent. Thank you so much for diving tonight. Share the broadcast. And remember, have an amazing, joy-filled week because God is about to pivot some things for you. Pivot some things for you. In other words, he wants you to wait on him. Get that strength reserve up. And as you wait on him, he's going to be turning some things around because a pivot means it's turning. It's turning. It's turning. 180, 360. God is able to do. While you're waiting, he will be working on your behalf. But you got to do your part. You got to do your part. He will not do all of it for you all the time. Sometimes he does, but not all the time. And this is one of these times. Get yourself to that filling station. Sit in the car and wait until it your 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 tank gets filled up and then go go further. Then go further. Good night. I got to go. Got to go. I love you guys. It's so good to see everybody. Thank you so much for diving. Have an amazing week. Hopefully, I'll be back here on Tuesday and we can dive again. Take good care. Bye.